Hello and thanks for clicking on the video. Please tap on the subscribe button now before we go any further. I'll wait for you. Welcome to the lovely ladies of Latin America appearing in Marvel Comics. This, of course, is a partial list. Characters in this video are focused on female superheroes with a sprinkling of villains that are born or have ties to countries seen on the map. Recently, president of Marvel Studios Kevin Feige said that Marvel has a strong focus on diversity in their films, especially after the success of Black Panther. So these are good issues to keep an eye out for when you're in the store, your comic book store, or you're looking through your collection. You can reference the Diverse Firsts featured button on Key Collector Comics' free mobile app and website where there are considerably more to be aware of. White Tiger. Now, there are five different White Tigers. This is the fifth and current White Tiger, Ava Ayala. I hope I'm saying this stuff right. If I'm not, just, you know... She is the aunt of the fourth white tiger, Angela del Toro, who retired the tiger amulets that store the power of the tiger god to the possessor of the amulet. Both ladies were born in New York, but they are second-generation American, their parents having been born in Puerto Rico, including their uncle, Hector Ayala, the first white tiger who first appeared in the Deadly Hands of Kung Fu number 19, published in 1975. This is a good key to get. It's a magazine-style comic book, but he also appeared first in standard comics in Spectacular Spider-Man number 9. So he's the first white tiger. The second white tiger is literally a tiger. It's like an evolved tiger. And the third is uh, clashes with Black Panther. Angela, I don't mean fashion-wise, I just mean they fight. Angela, the fourth white tiger, first appears in Daredevil number 58, and Ava appears in Avengers Academy number 20. Also from Puerto Rico is Slingshot, or Elena Rodriguez, or Yo-Yo Rodriguez. She is the daughter of John Horton, a.k.a. the Griffin. Nick Fury recruited her to battle the Skrulls during the secret invasion. So this might be a good one because the wheels are in motion for a secret Skrull invasion in the movies, since they're going to be in Captain Marvel. Slingshot first appears in... Uh, Mighty Avengers 13 in 2008. She was also on the television show S.H.I.E.L.D., but for whatever reason, they changed her nationality from uh, Puerto Rican to Colombian. Cecilia Reyes was born in the Bronx, but is of Puerto Rican descent, who has the ability to create shields that will manifest in defensive situations, even if she's not intentionally using her powers. She is also a trauma surgeon. Reyes first appeared in 1997 in X-Men issue 65. So we're going to puddle jump now from Puerto Rico over to Haiti to visit Calypso, who at one time was Craven's slam piece. Here they are in her first appearance on Amazing Spider-Man 209. I remember when I first picked up the McFarlane Spider-Man arc as a young boy, and the title of the arc was Torment, which was appropriate because look at that outfit. Cuba's top exports provided to the world are cigars and poison. That's right. As you can see, we have to start digging deep to make this a legitimate video, uh, time-wise. Cecilia Cardinale is a Cuban superhero. She premiered in Web of Spider-Man Annual Number 4 as a hero who can sense emotional pain and delivers punishment to those inflicting it. Poison has not appeared in comics in about a decade. Also from Cuba is Alessand Morales. It's not a very well-known character having only appeared in 19 issues since her debut in Captain America and the Falcon Number 1 in 2004. Look at these hard thugs. But you never know. Diverse first. That's the name of the game. Alessand headed up a division of S.H.I.E.L.D. meant to contain the threat of an extremist group called the Purifiers who wanted to kill mutant babies after the events of M-Day when the Scarlet Witch said, No more mutants! She has no relation to Miles Morales, but she is quite possibly named after a DC editor named Alessand Morales Carabeo. From the Bahamas, we have Blink, who got her start in an X-Men book, but gained popularity as the team leader of the reality-hopping superhero group The Exiles. Blink's first appearance is Uncanny X-Men 317. Blink rhymes with pink, and she is. Mexican superhero Maria Araceli Josefina Penalba de la Heras. Mexican superhero Maria Araceli Josefina Penalba de las Heras. Penalba? Mexican superhero Maria Araceli Josefina Penalba de la Jerez first appeared in Scarlet Spider Volume 2. Mexican superhero Maria Araceli Josefina Penalba de la Jerez 
first appeared in Scarlet Spider, Volume 2, Number 1, and officially became Hummingbird in issue number 17, published in 2013. She has the power to detect people's feelings and locate where they are physically, and can also produce divine fire to destroy demons, just like a hummingbird. Red Locust might be the newest entry into the list of Mexican superheroes, having been introduced in Champions No. 9, a series that is focused on introducing diverse characters from countries all over the world and bringing them together on one team. Fernando Ramirez's ancestors were part of the Locust Brotherhood, who protected Mexican travelers and tribes and had the ability to control insects. This costume, designed by Humberto Ramos, is inspired by El Chapulin Colorado, the Red Grasshopper, which was a comedic superhero parody that aired on Mexican television from 1973 to 1979. Here we have the third Ghost Rider, Alejandra Jones, who was an 18-year-old Mexican-American girl forced to bond with the spirit of vengeance after her father sold her to some weirdo named Adam, who held her in a Nicaraguan temple. Arcade, you know that one villain, uh, at one point calls her Nicaraguan Hellfire, a nickname that I am going to try to adopt since my name is Nick. Nicaraguan Hellfire sounds awesome. Uh, so guys, please call me that from now on. Anya Corazon, who is part Mexican and part Puerto Rican and all Spider Girl, except when she was Aranya, which is what she debuted as in Amazing Fantasy Number 1. No, not that Amazing Fantasy, but the relaunch in 2004. Anya updates her costume when Julia Carpenter, the original wearer of the Black Spider Girl suit, becomes the new Madam Web and gives the costume to Anya in Amazing Spider-Man number 637, so hope you enjoy that hand-me-down, Anya. The next two Latinas of Marvel Comics do not necessarily have a specific area of origin. Bonita Juarez, Firebird, first appears in The Incredible Hulk 265. She was born in New Mexico, but her ancestry traces back to Mexico or Central America. Firebird can summon or generate fire with amazing destructiveness, but she's not powerful as the Phoenix Force, nor is she connected to it as some might believe. But instead, it comes from some sort of mystic Native American origin. Firebird began her career with the Rangers, a group of superheroes who operate mostly in the Southwest and who uh, mostly people really don't even care about. Finally, the big hitter, America Chavez, or Miss America as she is also known. She's the second to use the name Miss America, the other being a character who was first introduced in the Golden Age, Madeline Joyce. America Chavez first appeared in 2011 in the series Vengeance, in Vengeance Number 1, but has continued on in major comic books and has been involved on major teams, including leading one incarnation of the Ultimates. America was not born in Latin America or even on Earth. She was born in what is called the Utopian Parallel, a reality that evades time. America Chavez has superhuman strength and can fly. She can also kick holes into reality to allow travel throughout the multiverses. One important distinction is that America Chavez is the first Latina to get her own self-titled series. Miss America is also bisexual, therefore it's the first LGBTQ character to have her own titled series. I have a strong feeling that this character will be introduced in a film or TV series at some point. I hope she does. I, I mean, I think it pretty much every Marvel character will be introduced at some point, but hopefully America Chavez sooner than uh, Poison. So that wraps up the lovely ladies of Latin America, Marvel superheroes. Subscribe to this channel by tapping on the circle. If you're on Facebook, please like the Key Collector Comics page. Same thing goes for Instagram. And if you haven't downloaded the app or visited the site, either you're not a comic book fan or you might just be plain old crazy. Thank you for watching. This is Nicaraguan Hellfire. Flame off. Ride upon the wheels of flames.